take you, you can lose weight, increase your energy. How about sleep better with a few simple changes to your daily routine? Scientist and author of the book, Circadian Code, Sachin Panda, says it is all about resetting your body's natural clock. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to take out my pen and I'm going to take notes because this makes sense. Remind us for people who may not truly understand the definition, what does circadian mean? Circadian literally means 24 hours. Okay. So that means our body has 24 hours rhythms built into it. This is the rhythm that each one of us has because we've heard the term circadian rhythm. Our circadian rhythm is off. So that is the, the timing that our bodies as humans are on? Yes. Almost each of us has the circadian rhythm or a 24 hours sequence of things. So that tells us there is an optimum time for everything, for sleep, digestion, even uh, exercise and uh, immune function. Uh, so everything in our body goes through a 24 hours timing system. You also say when you say everything in our body, you're talking down to the cell. Every cell also has a circadian clock, is that correct? Is that what you say? Yes, every single cell in our body has a circadian clock and those cells turn on and off nearly thousand genes in every cell at different time of the day. And these work together to produce daily rhythms in hormones, brain chemicals, digestive juice in our gut, and every enzyme in our body. I'm afraid to ask you what makes those <laughs> cells and the clock and everything go haywire because so many of us, and I hear from people, they don't sleep, they don't feel good, they can't exercise, all of these. What are the things that would disrupt your clock? that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So two big things that disrupt our clock is staying awake late into the night and looking into bright screens, uh, working under bright light at night. Oh, man. And okay. And second thing is eating as long as we are awake. So as we're awake for 16 to 18 hours, and if we keep eating for all those 12 to 16 hours, then that also disrupts our circadian okay. rhythms. Okay, can I use, I'm gonna use yeah. myself. Yes. Um, and my, and, and hopefully those hours can help people figure this out for themselves. So when, when you sat down, I asked you, because I, I get up at three o'clock in the morning and I don't go into bed till eight o'clock at night. So according to what you're saying, if I start eating at three in the morning when I wake up, which includes a cup of coffee with cream and sugar, I should stop eating at Maximum maybe three o'clock in the afternoon. Then what do I do between three and eight? Yeah, so, that, so that's the uh, beauty of circadian rhythm. That is, just like your brain needs eight hours of sleep to repair, reset, and rejuvenate, the rest of our body actually needs 12 to 14 hours to repair, reset, and rejuvenate every day. And that means you don't feed it, you gotta really so, let your body, your digest, everything just rest. Exactly, so just imagine, you cannot repair a highway when the cars are still running. That is true. So just like that, our gut repairs itself every night, actually every day. Okay. And that happens when you're sleeping. So that means we have to stop the car, so we have to stop eating at least three to four hours before the repair process and then the repair, reset, rejuvenation can take six to eight hours. Okay. So in that way you can see, we, need, we have to stop eating for at least 12 hours every day to rejuvenate our body. I'm understanding this. So you're saying stop eating for 12 hours a day to give your body time to rest. And most of us, most Americans are up longer yeah. than we should be. We're not sleeping the way that we are. Exactly. So one misconception we have is as long as our, we are awake, our brain needs energy and we have to eat. And that's, that's actually, not true. That's not true yeah. because our body has the wisdom to store energy when you are eating and then reuse that energy when you are not eating. Let's say we do this, okay? There's a book, it's called The Circadian Code, and you follow this and you say that there's a way you can reset by doing these small things. Yeah. What are some of the difference? Um, Sachin, that you would see in your in your health? What, what are we going to feel? For example, within two to four weeks, one will see reduction in heartburn and acid reflux. Wow. And people will begin to sleep better in three to four weeks. Okay. Then after four to six weeks, they will see a small but significant reduction in body weight. And within 10 weeks, they can actually see a good amount of body weight loss. You can lose weight by doing this You too? can lose weight. Uh, particularly if you're sticking to 10 hours window. And you can drink water outside this window, okay. that's fine. And then after 10 to 12 weeks, what will happen is 
if you have some joint pain, that will go down. So oh, then people right. will begin to move more. And you feel so better. So they'll sleep better. Yeah. And they'll feel energetic throughout the day. Okay. And we are seeing people can reverse their diabetes too. A reverse diabetes. You yes. said some magical words here. Sachin Panda, the book is called The Circadian Code. I'm going to put my face on this and read this whole thing. Let's <laughs> reset you. our clocks. Thank you for being here.